Hi, Jocelyn. It's Joe with Quick Flex. Um, you sent me a message and were um, saying that you wanted uh, to do uh, cake toppers, cupcake toppers of an apple for your teacher with that saying thank you in the center. And you wanted to know how you could do a print and cut without it cutting the, cutting the lettering out. Um, I just grabbed an image off of um, Google. The Google search that I did uh, was a really high resolution. And let me see here. <clears throat> this is the one I picked. It's uh, 1271 um, is the resolution on it, which is really, really good. So I think it would print out really good. You did say you were going to be printing it on red cardstock. So you have one of two choices. Um, if you're going to do it on red cardstock and not print and cut the apple out itself, you are going to have to um, do the printing in in black. If you're going to print the apple out, now you said you're going to do cake toppers. When I do cake toppers, I do them double-sided and I flip the other one around and I put toothpicks in the centers of them. And this one would fit if you flipped them around and glued them together through the center. If you do, a, again, this is if you do a print and cut then just use a round toothpick and stick the toothpick about halfway up into the apple or all the way depending on how long you want it to stick into the cupcake. For the writing, I would go over to my font and I'm just going to pick, um, let me see, I'll pick a, one of my favorites is this apple chancery and you want it to say thank you and I'm going to go thank you then after I do that, I'm going to hit center because I want that centered. I'm going to box it in. I'm going to color this one white and I'm going to do my line color white. And the reason I'm doing white is because if I was going to do it a print and cut, this is how I would do it. Again, if you're going to print it on red card or if you're going to print it out on red cardstock, then the way that you would do it, let me copy and paste this so I can or duplicate it and you don't want to put your thank you on the second one till you you already have that already flipped then I'm going to take these and first of all I'm going to make them smaller on my mat let's say they're about two inches yeah two inches would be an okay size and then I'll just zoom in and I would group this one together and then I would group this one together. And then on both of them, I would put cut outer edge. You do not want the lettering cut out. You'll have holes in your apple. If you're going to do it on red cardstock, I'm going to just grab, I'm going to back out here a minute. And I assume, by the way, you're asking me the question that you must have a silhouette cameo because you're saying you wanted to know how to do print and cut. Um, Actually, I didn't mean to go there. Let me just grab a box, uh, red sheet. I'm going to color this, eh, one of these pretty colors from this red apple. Whoops, I wanted to color that in. There we go. Now I would take this and I would put an out outline around it and I would just do the outline at, at zero. And the reason being is I'm going to change the color of the line too because you can't see it. Because you're going to put it here, bring this to the front. You need to know where you're going to put the wording. So you can go through here and again duplicate, not the red, duplicate the apple outline here. Duplicate it. You're going to fill your sheet. Now you can you can either, I don't know how you're how many you were going to be making. I keep hitting the wrong piece. I'm not doing very well here. Um, you can automatically fill your, um, well, I'm not, well, let me see if that object, replicate, um, fill page. I don't know if it would fill. Let me move this aside and see if I group these together, 
I've never done a fill on a, just an outline. Replicate and fill page. And it did it. But I'm going to have to move these over. Well, I guess I wouldn't have to because I would have a 12 by 12 piece of paper in here. So anyway, there is how if you're going to cut them out on red cardstock. You would need to have this outline, you know, to cut your apple out and do just um, pick all the apples and cut outer edge. If you're going to put the, th the thank you in there, um, I'm going to take one of these apart. I'm going to ungroup it and <coughs> I'm going to try and ungroup it. There's my thank you. Let me go back here. And I'm going to change that to black. And I'm going to change the line to black. I'm going to put this red behind here. I'm going to bring this to the front. And before I duplicate this, I'm going to take this and where it's, it has my little knife, I want no cut on the thank you. All I want to do is... And then I, I would just duplicate and make a whole bunch of them because you're going to have to line them up or line up on one and, and, and duplicate that or fill your sheet, however you want to do it, whatever. I mean, there's all sorts of different um, ways you can do just one and then duplicate that and fill your sheet. I'm doing it the long way here because I wasn't planning on doing more than show you just one. But now when I highlight this whole thing, you would have to send it through the printer. You would have to send your red paper through the printer. So your red cardstock is what you're going to go through the printer. And I'm going to go with the assumption that your printer is going to be a letter size printer. And I'm going to make a letter size paper. Then I'm going to take um, this and we're going to change this to letter size cardstock. Um, if you want to print them, you're going to have to do it that way. You can buy 8x11 color cardstock and then just put your apples on there. And again, you're only going to cut the outer edge. You've already told the um, silhouette that you don't want to cut the thank you out. Now if I cover this and hit my cut line, you can see it's the, only the outer edge. So all you have to do is um, print it first and when you print it the thank yous are all going to be printed out on here and you're not going to see the apple because it's a cut line only so of course it's not going to print anything out but when you put it in the machine and line it up on your mat correctly and let's say you're putting it on a 12 by 12 mat this is what it's going to look like on your mat you know you're going to of course put your sheet of paper up in the corner and line it up right and when it cuts out it should it should cut the image. Actually, now when I think about it, what's going to happen is if you don't have, I would put registration marks on it and tell it to detect detect the registration marks. Um, I've done it on color paper, Tammy. If you're watching this. Um, can you give me a little, add your opinion here on, on using the, the, uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I tell you what, the registration marks on color cardstock, I've done it, um, but I'm trying to think if I ever had an issue with it. I know I've done it, but I don't know if I've ever done it on a darker color. I know I've done it on, on like tan or yellow or pink or something. I don't know if the registrations would be detected on red cardstock because red, of course, is a little bit heavier or uh, not heavier, darker, darker color. I'm trying to line this up here as I talk. Um, but I think you would have to have the registration marks on there in order for it to center it once you go to all that work. I'm lining it up trying to figure out where I would put it. If I want the registration marks on there, would I put the paper? I put the paper up in the corner. Yeah, that's right. I would put it up in the corner. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know why I'm trying to bring the paper down here. I'd put the paper up in the corner like you're supposed to. I never use an 8.5 by 11, so I'm drawing a blank again because I never use it. I always use a 12 by 12. 
but the vast majority of the people have an 8x11 printer. So I need to make sure that these registration marks are set on letter size. There we go. There we go. That's what I did wrong. I went and made my cardstock and then line them up accordingly. I do believe, I would test run it and see, that you should be able to um, cut it on red if it doesn't pick up the registration because again the red might be too dark and it might not be able to differentiate the, the sensor on the registration marks. If that would be the case, the other option that you would have is if you use white cardstock and just run it through your printer and do a print and cut of your apple like this. If you go and do uh, apple in a Google search of um, apple clip art, there's a bunch of them in there with really high resolution. That would be your other option. I, I would assume that you're, well, you have to have a printer or you wouldn't be doing the print and cut. So those are the two ways that you could do it. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.